welcome back to my channel. So today's gonna be a different type of video. I am gonna walk you guys through my process from the beginning to the end of how do I get my numbers from my cash envelopes to all the way to the end on, of me stuffing my cash envelope. So you'll come with me through the beginning, through the middle stages where I go to the bank, take money out. I usually run a little errand or two and then I come back home and stuff my envelopes right away. So today I will show you a cash envelope stuffing that I had to do last week that I didn't do, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but this week, so we'll do that. And then I'll also take you from this week's paycheck and how I did it from beginning to the end. So stay tuned. It'll be like a mini vlog. Come with me and stuff my envelopes with me. And I'm gonna be showing you guys this awesome new tool, this awesome new sheet that I have created um, to make it easier for y'all when you are taking out cash and breaking down the numbers on like what bills you're gonna, you know, ask to take out in the ATM and stuff like that. So I think it will be an awesome tool and I'm sure you guys will appreciate it. So stay tuned and welcome back. All right guys, I am on my drawing board. This is how usually my little station looks like when I'm doing my cash envelopes, um, when my budgeting. This is what it usually looks like. I have my little calculator, my binder right next to me, any receipts, highlighters, white out or correction tape, and um, a post-it note just in case to make some notes. This is my little binder. I have my laptop here on the side just to see any bank transactions. Um, but this is what usually it looks like when I'm sitting down and doing my budget. Uh, it looks probably a little bit more disorganized, but for the sake of this video and just because it looks nice when it's all organized, this is what it looks like now. <laughs> so first things first, I did not stuff my envelopes for the payment for a payment that I received on the 1st of July. What I'm gonna do today alongside with stuffing my cash envelopes for this weekend's paycheck. I am going to stuff the envelopes from the payment that I received on the first, because I haven't done that yet. I've been lazy and I have not stuffed it. So before I even continue doing anything for this past weekend, I'm gonna do that first because again, organization is key. So step by step, let's do that first and I'll show you what I do uh, when I stuff my envelopes. Now this is a brand new sheet that I created. This is not out yet officially. Um, I wanted to try it out to see what I need to fix. I don't have the color scheme yet, which is why it's black and gray, um, but I promise you the colors will be coming out soon. So this is my cash envelope breakdown page. This I think would be so helpful and useful to break down your cash based on the bills and the quantities so that you know exactly the amount of $5 bills or the amount of $20 bills you'll need to be taking out when you go to your ATM or bank. So I think this is super helpful. I will have these available soon, but I just, again, just need to tweak some things here and there. So for the payment that I received on the 1st of June, I had noted that I was gonna take out from um, from my cash variable expense envelopes, groceries, home, and gas. These are the amounts. And from the sinking funds, these amounts. And here I note what quantity I needed from each of the bills and the total amounts right here. When I did receive the, the payment on the 1st of June, I already took out the grocery because I usually do that then and there after the bank, I go to the grocery store, get that done with. So we won't be stuffing this portion, but we will be stuffing the rest. So first things first, uh, for the home envelope, I had scheduled for 15 to be in that envelope. So we're gonna go to our home envelope. Based on this, they're supposed to be about 45, 30, 45, perfect. And I'm gonna be adding 15 to this. So one, two, three, 15. Where's my pen when you need it? So, or on my little tracker, we are going to note that on June 
first there was an income in this envelope of fifteen dollars and then we'll do 40 oh this is supposed to be 45 and not 46 and in the calculator we'll do 45 plus 15 60. cool and we stuff it All right, I use my little red pen, check. All right, so next up is our gas envelope. And I had set $60 and 20, so three of the $20 bills. So let's see, we have 10 here. One, two, three, perfect. And this is from the first, so I'll note here that on the first, there was an income into the envelope of $60, and 10 plus 60 is 70. Cool beans. Next, we're gonna go with our sinking funds. I like to do some, some sort of separation here with the sinking funds, um, just so I know that this is for my variable expenses and this is for my sinking funds. All right, so first up is YouTube. So yes, I do save for YouTube something because there's always an expense of something that I'm doing for YouTube. So um, I have to set money aside for that. If I can find my YouTube envelope, here it is. Long time no see. So let's make sure I had the money in here. So according to my little notes, it said that I have $83 left over. So I like to always double check to see if that is correct. 20, 40, 60, 5, 70, 5, 80, one, two, three, yes. According to this, I had set $50 for the YouTube envelope. So 20 and then five. Okay. Accountant, 50 bucks. Let's look for the accountant. Where are you, sir? Okay, it's supposed to be 93 left over here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 5, 93. Yes. And I'm supposed to take out 50. Done. Next is for Nini. And Nini has a receipt in here, so I haven't really updated this. So this needs updating. Said 50, 20, 10, 20, 30. Thirty-six minus twenty-three. Thirty-six minus twenty-three. Thirteen bucks. That's yeah. That's how about how much we spent. That confirms it. Great. And I keep this receipt on the side. Any receipts that I receive, I save them for tracking, so I can track it in my expense tracker, and also to scan it because I do get points um, anytime I scan a receipt. That is updated, and we have to add. Nini for $15 today. $23 plus 
15. Eagles 38, that here. So Nini's envelope is up to date. Make sure that money is in there. Done. Now next is car maintenance. Make sure. Yes, 105. And from the payment of the first, let's do some income plus how much we're going to put in here? 30. Let's take this out and according to my little breakdown, I'm supposed to have one of the $20 bills and two of the $5 bills. Next is the gifts. Gifts, gifts, gifts. Gifts are super essential, especially I think if you have friends and close family members and there's a lot of you know, events and stuff like that. I think it gives us a very important envelope to have as a sinking fund because there's always something that you're buying for someone. And this envelope saves my butt when it comes to that. So from the payment of the first, we're putting $15. Yay, now I have $18 in my gift envelope. Yay, yay, yay. Next is holidays. Holidays. Oh, the last time I used this was for Mother's Day. I remember that much. If I remember where it is. Here it is. Holidays. So let's make sure it's updated. It's supposed to be $23 in here. Yes, $23. And we're putting 15 more. So when is the next holiday? We're in June, oh, July 4th. So I'm already saving for July 4th. Put income. And yeah, this envelope saved my butt for Mother's Day. Um, I had $155 saved for Mother's Day and just Mother's Day events like buying food or whatever, not per se gifts, but just like with food purchases and stuff like that. Um, we used this envelope for that and we spent this amount for Mother's Day as far as like food and other stuff. Um, so this really saved our butt for Mother's Day. So we're doing $15, so 23 plus 15. I cannot do math on the top of my head, so this is why a calculator for me is essential. All right, so I'm already saving towards July 4th, y'all. Have 38 bucks saved for July 4th so far. Yippee. So throughout the month of June, I'll be saving for July 4th. Cause you know, July 4th also has lots of miscellaneous expenses. Either it's fireworks, food, alcohol, whatever it is. So next is our DJ envelope. So my husband is a DJ, y'all, if y'all did not know this. And we have an envelope for him. So the last time we used his envelope was to buy an air pad. An air pad? An iPad. I don't know why he said air pad. <laughs> um, and we used this envelope and it was so helpful. We didn't have to spend from our money, from our savings. And yeah, so this is why these little envelopes are great. Um, and now we're just saving up again. Um, just in case anything else for his side business, this is um, very helpful. So we are in putting 15 bucks and that should be what is left over over there in my little cash stack. So we're doing 15, 20 plus 15 is 35, simple math. Awesome. So now Michael, has 35 bucks there for any DJ expenses that he has. And y'all, that is it. So I am done with my June 1st cash envelope stuffing. 
So that has been updated, yay. All right, so next we will be filling out the um, cash breakdown for the income that came in on June 4th. So this is the cash envelope breakdown sheet. Again, nothing with color yet because I'm still tweaking everything out. But here I will note the quantity that I need from each bill amount. So for my variable cash envelopes, all I needed from for this period for that paycheck, just because I already have enough money in my um, health and beauty and home. I did not want to put in more money for that for this paycheck. I'll do that for next paycheck. But for this one, um, I think just groceries and gas was enough for us um, for our cash uh, variable expenses. Um, however, I will still need to take out money for my sinking funds. So I noted my grocery amount and what I'm going to put in my gas envelope this month. So for groceries, I like to do 120. So one here and one here for gas, one here. And then I have my little sinking fund list here and I'll start putting it on. So for YouTube, we had noted that we need, I needed 30. And the total of this, let's calculate that. So 140 plus 60 plus 15 plus 60 plus 30 plus 30 plus 15 plus 50. $400. So according to this, this means that I need to take out $400 when I go out to the ATM. The totals down here need to equal $400. Based on my ATM and my bank's ATM, they only do $1 bill, $5 bills, $20 bills, and $100 bills. So I have to base it off my breakdown based on that. So always check with your bank to see what they accept and what they actually let you withdraw. So for YouTube, 20, so one of the 20s and two of the fives for the accountant as well, one of the 20s, two of the fives. So once I have that, we'll go down here and do the total bill count. So the total bill count will add up all of the bill, all of the $5 bills, all of the $20 bills, and all of the $100 bills. So for the 100 is easy, there's only one $100 bill, and that will equal 100. So for the $20 bills, it is, we'll need one, two, three, four. Four plus three is seven, plus one is eight, plus two is 10. So we'll need 10 $20 bills. And that should be 200, but let's <laughs> double check because my math ain't always right. Yep, 200. And from the $5 bills, let's see how many we need. So four plus three is seven, plus nine, plus two is nine, plus three is 12, plus three is 15, plus three is 18, and plus two is 20. So we'll need five, we'll need 20 of the $5 bills and 20 times five equals 100. And if you add here, 100 plus 200 plus 100 equals 400. So this came out successful. So now that you know how much money you are gonna be taking out in the ATM and exactly how many of the dollar bills you're gonna be taking out. Next thing you need to note down the total amount of your bill count and the total value of each so that you can take that to your bank. I don't know if you either go inside or your ATM, but I usually go to the ATM, it's easy. So I just take a regular post-it note. So here I note the number of bills 
that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using the $5 bill, $20 bill, and $100 bill. The quantity of each. So based on this, I'll, I'll need 20 of the $5 bills, 10 of the 20, and one of the 100s. And the total value, so I'm going to need to take out $100 of the $5 bills, $200 of the $20 bills, and 100 of the $100 bills. Um, so just one. Alrighty, so now that I have my cash totals and the deposit that I will be making, I'm going to put this in my little designated envelope that I have created for that. And now that I have my to-do list as far as the groceries that I'm going to buy, I think I'm ready to go. So this is going to be the money that I'm going to be taking out. And this is the money that I'm going to be depositing. So stay tuned. All right, so um, now that I am here, I'll take my little handy dandy deposit withdrawal envelope out, put this over there. And I like to make my deposits first just to get that over with. Just deposited my cash and now I'm gonna take out my cash totals. So follow along. Money. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in my grocery envelope because, um, yeah, I know I'm going to go to the grocery store now and I need this. So I won't be stuffing this. I'll stuff it right now on my envelope. So. are one dollar so it's a pretty good sale almond flour tortillas are the best love these i learned via tiktok that these eggs the pastries are the ones that you want to go and buy because these are the ones that are actually um family small family farmed and these chickens are raised actually you know range free that they're not you know in cages and stuff like that so pasture raised is the way to go our favorite ben and jerry's half baked john if you haven't tried this recommend it and they're on sale yay transaction for um, the health and beauty stuff. All right, so just coming out of the grocery store. So FYI guys, we um, have been wearing our masks, even though the state of Texas doesn't require it. Um, we are um, still wearing our masks. Uh, we haven't had our full shots yet. We still have a, sec a second one to go and that will be this week. But yeah, we still like to, you know, stay protected. Um, a lot of people are not wearing masks here, which is understandable since the state is not requiring it. Um, but we still are because we want to stay safe until our next shot and then Hopefully, and even after our next shot, we will still be um, wearing our masks just for a little bit because a lot of people still need their shots. <laughs> so until then, um, masks, always. <laughs> All right, I'm back. <laughs> so I'm back, groceries are done, cash has been withdrawn, deposits have been made, we are back. Now let's stuff this new money. Again, y'all, my favorite part of the process, stuffing my cash envelopes. 
follow me. Let us stuff the cash envelopes for the paycheck that came in on the 4th of June. Okay, so as you guys saw earlier, I already took out the $120 for my groceries. Um, I won't be stuffing that right now. I will look over that envelope later when I am tracking and I'm noting everything down under my tracker. So for the purpose of this video, the cash envelope for groceries is good to go. Next is gas. So according to this, we had stated that I needed $20 for my gas. So let's look for our gas envelope. Take this money out. I'm supposed to have 70 and I confirmed all of this earlier so I won't do it again and I need $20. So today is the six, so income plus 20, 70 plus 20 is 90. So I have $90 here ready to go for my gas, for Michael's as well. All right, gas is good to go. Next is YouTube. So we're done with the cash envelopes for variable expenses. Now we're gonna do our sinking funds. And YouTube is next. And again, I already confirmed this amount earlier. So all we need to do is put in more money. So I have $163 here set aside for my YouTube envelope. Yay. So anything related to this channel, <laughs> it's coming out of this little handy dandy envelope. All right, next is our accountant. So this envelope we noted under accountant, it's not to pay our accountant, yes. We already used the money that we had set aside to pay for our accountant here. Um, but now we are just saving up for next year's um, accountant dues. And also if we do owe any money to the IRS or anything like that, which most of us average American citizens do, not all of us um, get refunded a lot back. So um, we also keep on adding money to this envelope um, just in case we end up having to owe money back to the IRS. We have this at least to cover some of it. Right, Nini's next, 15. She's the yellow one, I know that. Well, Nini, you're rich, 53 bucks. <laughs> next is Salon and Barber. This is very, this is a very important cash envelope for us. Um, we use this quite a lot, as you can see. <laughs> um, and I have to update it to my brand new cash tracker because I have not had the time to update this one. So I just continued it in the back of this little slip that I made. <laughs> Income, we're gonna add 60 bucks to this one. 120. The reason why I'm adding so much this time is because we have a wedding coming up and I need to go to the salon and Michael needs to go to the barber and we want to make sure that we have enough money this week for that. Again, that's why I have everything noted, my appointments, events noted on my calendar so that I know that I need to have enough money for so and so just so um, that I don't need to be scrambling last minute looking for money. I already have money set for this event. All right, next is car maintenance. All right, we confirmed this amount earlier. The car maintenance envelope is looking good. I think this month actually we need to do, I think my car needs to be, car maintenance needs to be known my car this month. So I think I'm gonna be set for that, thankfully. So car maintenance done. Next is handy dandy gift envelope. I love this envelope, it's so helpful.
And as you guys can see how easy it is once you break down your cash, how easy it is because you have all of your bills set aside. If you know that something's off when you have a bill left over, like you, you either put too much in an envelope or you put too little. So this is why it's super helpful to have this cash breakdown. Um, it'll save you time. Trust me, believe me. Okay, so I did that. Next up is our DJ. DJ envelope, we're adding 15 bucks. Little shout out to DJ Betraco, y'all. If y'all wanna hype Dominican DJ to play all of that hype Dominican music, Michael's your man, DJ Betraco. <laughs> Holidays, saving up for July 4th, y'all. Holidays, where you go? Where did you go? Holidays. So the six income coming in 15 bucks 38 plus 15 53 got 53 bucks already saved for july 4th i'm ready for july 4th y'all well 53 bucks worth of being ready for july 4th and after july 4th i believe it's thanksgiving is it We'll have a couple of months to save for Thanksgiving. And last but not least, my favorite envelope, vacaciones, las vacaciones. So for vacation, we used, as y'all can see, if maybe you can't see, but, so as y'all can see, we saved up $170 worth of cash for our Miami trip. Um, this we used for food expenses, um, anything that we could have paid for cash, we used this envelope. And y'all, we used all of it. So here's where um, we added to the amount of $870. Um, here's where we took it out the week of, um, the last week of, uh, um, or the first week of March. And here's where we're starting all over again. Um, yeah, so. There should be 50 bucks here and we're putting 50 more. <laughs> so this is how cool it is. We did not have to use any of our credit cards or anything for our trip to Miami when it came to food at least because we had our cash set aside. And that equals 200. So we already have 100 bucks saved for whenever our next vacation is gonna be. Whenever that is, we have 100 bucks saved. And y'all, nothing, no money was left over. That means everything was accounted for. Everything was good. All of my money add up. My cash breakdown was helpful. And this is it. This is my cash envelope breakdown process. It is my favorite. My little binder is stuffed as can be, as you can see. Um, she's a happy one. She's a heavy one. Um, I do suggest, and this is probably something that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be separating um, my sinking funds and my cash envelope funds. I don't want to be hanging around with my sinking funds everywhere I go. Um, I only take this out sometimes. I don't take this out all the time. Um, I do, if I'm going to go to the grocery store, I only take out my, my grocery store envelope and I also take the home and the health and beauty one just in case I need any of those envelopes, but I do not regularly just go around hanging around with my envelope, with my binder. It's not safe. I mean, you have all of your money in here, so I don't recommend that, but I am going to be separate. I think I'm going to buy another binder and to separate my sinking funds and to have my regular day-to-day -day envelopes in one so that I don't have to be coming around with all of this money. This is a savings tool right here. I love it. Everything that I show here, you can pretty much buy. All of these envelopes that I have, I create. 
um, this budget binder I have been ordered in my Amazon shop these sheets that I use today in this video all I can you can find it on my Instagram if you want a better look at it I also sell these so if you are interested in any of these sheets um, the envelopes the little trackers that I use for all of the envelopes I have these available for you if you can just DM me on Instagram at Nikki Disla or if you want to send me an email at disla, disla nikki at gmail.com. I am here for y'all. As of yesterday, I believe, yesterday, June 5th, if I'm right, is that right? Was yesterday, what day is today? Y'all, it is June 7th, it is, oh well, it's really late, that's why. Um, <laughs> as of June 6th, I have a thousand subscribers. Yay. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. It has been a trip, let me tell y'all. It hasn't been the easiest process starting this YouTube channel, but I'm grateful that I did and I'm gonna keep I'm gonna be continuing on with this. This has been a blessing in disguise. I love this, I love editing videos, I love creating contacts for my YouTube. Um, this is this this has been one of my favorite hobbies. Um that I have ever come up with, to be honest. Uh, thank you guys so much. I love doing this. I love helping you guys. I love giving you tools and resources so that you can succeed with your money the way that I am doing it. This is key, y'all. Having your money organized, knowing that you have stuff saved for any future instance, this is what it's about. Keep your money organized. Organization is key to be, to any sort of success. I am so grateful. I'm grateful for it and I'm grateful for y'all. Thank you so much. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, like, give me a thumbs up, comment, give me any um, advice, feedback. Let me know what you thought about this video. And yeah, thank you for staying in tune and following along. I appreciate it and a lot more content is coming up soon. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye mi gente.